Okay, so probability mass function. So this probability mass function plays an important role in statistics. It defines the probabilities of the given discrete random variable. It integrates the variable for the given random number which is equal to the probability for the random variable. It is also used to calculate the mean and variance of the discrete distribution. So we have this given discrete distribution, so we're going to convert this one in a probability mass function. So to rewrite this distribution in a probability mass function, now since this given has the same probabilities, that's 1 over 6, so therefore the probability is 1 over 6 if x is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then 0 otherwise. So this otherwise means if the value of x is not one of these values, then the chance or the probability is equal to 0. So like for example, if x equals 7, so therefore, there is no chance of uh, getting a 7, so therefore, the probability is 0. So if x equals 10, so there is no chance of getting 10, so therefore, the probability is 0. So this is the otherwise. Then for this distribution, so convert this one in a PMF. So we have this uh, 1 over 8. So the probability is 1 over 8 if x is 0 and 3. Then we also have this 3 over 8. So 3 over 8 if x is 1 and 2. Then 0 otherwise. So this is how to convert a discrete distribution to a probability mass function. Then we also have this given, so show that this given is a PMF. So using the properties of discrete distribution that the summation of all probabilities is equal to 1. So first we need to uh, find the probability for every values of x. So let's start with uh, as x equals 1, so f of 1. Then substitute to this. Uh, equation so 1 over 6 times x is 1 and this one is 1 6 then if x is uh, 2 so f of 2 that's 1 over 6 then times 2 so this is 2 over 6 or reduce that's 1 over 3 then the last one if x is 3, so we have 1 over 6 times 3. This one is 3 over 6 or 1 half. So these are the different probabilities for every values of x. Then to check if this one is a PMF, so using this, using this property that the summation of uh, the probability of x is equal to 1 or the summation of f of x that's equal to 1. So the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. So add all these probabilities. So 1 over 6 plus, uh, we're going to use this 2 over 6 to have the same denominator. Then plus this uh, 3 over 6. And this one should B equal to 1. So we have 6, then 1 plus 2 plus 3, that's 6. So 6 divided by 6, that's 1. So 1 is equal to 1. So therefore, this given is a PMF. Then for the second example, so show that this one is a PMF. So substitute these values. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So start with uh, f of 0, so that's 1 over 30 times 0 squared, so this one is 0. Then uh, f of uh, 1, 
So, 1 over 30 times 1 squared. So, this is 1 over 30. Then, f of 2. So, we have 1 over 30. We have 2 squared. So, this is 4 over 30 or uh, 2 over 15. Then, f of 3. f of 3. So, we have 1 over 30 times 3 squared. So, this is 9 over 30 or 3 over 10. Then, the last one, the f of 4. So, this one is 1 over 30. We have 4 squared or that's 16 over 30. Or this one is uh, 8 over uh, 15. So, these are the probabilities for every values of x. Then to check, this one is a PMF. So, add all the probabilities. So, we have 0 plus 1 over 30 plus, again, we're going to use this uh, 4 over 30 to have the same denominator. Then plus 9 over 30 plus 16 over 30. And this one should uh, equal to 1. So, we have now uh, 30, so 1 plus 4 plus 9, that's 14, plus 16, so 30 over 30, and 1 is equal to 1. So, therefore, this given is a PMF. Then, for this given, so uh, F of 0, so we have... 0 over 15, this one is 0. F of 2, yeah, F of 2, that's 2 over uh, 15. F of 3, this one is F, this one is F of 4, that's 4 over 15. Then we have this F of 6, that's 6 over 15. Then uh, to check if this one uh, PMF, then add all the probabilities. So 0 plus 2 over 15 plus 4 over 15 plus 6 over 15. This one should equal to 1. So we have this one 15. This one is uh, 12. Now since this uh, given not equal to 1, so, therefore, this one is not a PMF. Then, the last one. So, uh, find the value of K. So, you add all the probabilities, then solve for K. So, we have uh, start with X equals 1. So, K times X equals 1 plus 2, then plus k times x equals 2, plus 2, then plus k times x equals 3, then plus 2, and take note the sum is equal to 1. Okay, so these are the values of x, the 1, 2, and 3, then simplify. So, k okay, we have 5 plus 2, then plus k, then we have, this one is 10, plus 2, then plus k, then this one is 15 plus 2, and that's equal to 1. So, 5 plus 2, so we have this one, 7k, plus, that's uh, 12k, plus this one is uh, 17k, and that's equal to 1. Then you add, so 7 plus 12, that's 19, plus 17, so we have 36k, that's equal to 1. Then divide by 36, divide by 36, so therefore k is equal to 1 over 36.